Hi, this is going to be a toned in 10 with the Hooked on Pilates mini mats with ideas of how you can use it on the reformer in a class. So I've got the mini mats and I've got it just up against the leg a little bit just to hold it a little bit more steady. So I'm now going to come to the Pilates V. So I've got my heels up on the slope. I've got the balls of my feet on the floor. I've got a nice neutral spine. My gaze is out in front. And then from there I'm going to exhale, demi plie. Make sure those knees track over your second toe. So we go down and then we inhale. We reach our head up towards the ceiling because we want to get taller. So we reach and squeeze. We get down and we reach and squeeze. So squeeze those leggings tight together and zip those low abs up. And we go down and back up down and back up. If this bothers you, maybe you need to make a little micro bend or you can bend further. Whatever works for you. Make sure that it's healthy though for your body. So we go down and up. Squeeze those sides together as you draw those kneecaps up. We go down and up down and up. Now let's hold our demi plie and pulse. Wow, that starts burning right away. Make sure your pelvis is still in neutral and widen those knees as you pulse. Try to get the tension out of your neck and shoulders and feel the burn in the thigh. Welcome that feeling. That's what makes us stronger. Good and up. Nice. And so from here, what we're going to do is take the mini mat and put it on slant up against the shoulder rest. Nice. And then from here, I've got myself on a blue spring, which is half of a spring. And then from here, we're going to just come and have the V of our feet. Yep. And then we're going to lean back support our head with our hands, gaze is high, and then from here we're going to jump and squeeze those leggings tight together as you did before. Gaze is high on the wall in front of you. Now you're really trying to drill your abdominals in to keep your back from arching. Now sometimes I like to pull a little bit on my head, just giving it a little traction as I keep my gaze up. If you wanted to add some difficulty, do a delay, open, close. And hold the V, open, close, get the V again. Open, close, very good. Or you can maintain with just the V jumps. Good, gaze is high, abs are in, legs are squeezing, and we kept drying up. One more. Nice. And then from here, we're just going to take the mini mat by its handle and put it back down on the floor. You got it. Second set of our demi plies. We're just going to change our second half of it a little bit. So we're back to that nice tall standing position. We've been here once before. And then we exhale, we lower, squeeze those legs nice and tight. And exhale, zip and reach. Exhale, get tall and squeeze. Down we go and up. That's it. Feel those kneecaps draw up. Try to feel those low abs zipping up towards your navel. And of course, zipping those legs tight together. So we're down and up. Keep your chest upright. Pelvis in neutral. Nice. And three more. Good. Two more. And one more. Good. Now we're going to find a mini bend. We're going to then go ahead and hug a tree post to your tilt, wrap the knees in, and then open outward into your tilt. So we're not pulsing. We're maintaining. And then we post your tilt, navel to spine round, and then open. And tuck it under, like you've been a really, really bad dog. Have you ever seen one of them where they've got their tail tucked underneath, touching their belly? So big time tuck under, 
and open. Burn, baby, burn. Nice. Good. Two more. And last one. And up. Good. So then what we're going to do is take the mini mats, put it back on that slant. Yes, we're still on the blue or the half spring. And then let's just grab those long loops in one hand and then come down and have those legs straight. Now, I've got medium length arms. I'm going into the short loops. If you have really short arms, you might be in the long loops. If you have long arms, you might be holding the ropes. So from here, abs are in, gaze is high. Float those legs over the frame. Reach back for stretch. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Draw down. And inhale. And exhale. Now, if this is too hard for you, just put your feet down. But try to make the movement still occur with your arms. So my knees are bending and extending, but they're not the reason why I'm moving. And then when I get to here, they might lift. Good. And so try not to rely on the legs. This should be an uh, ab exercise. Good, because we already got our legs previously. So I'm hovering again. And press one more time. And good. Wow, that's a toughie. So let's go ahead and take those long loops, return the carriage. Yes. And then we're going to go ahead and hang those long loops over. And then we're going to just position the mini mats right up against the shoulder rest. You can do it from the other direction also. I'm just choosing to do it this way. I'm going to add a green and a um, red to the blue just to stabilize uh, the reformer. So we have just turned the reformer into a mat. And then what we're going to do is come and put our hip on top of the mini mats. And then we're going to come into the side lie position. Stabilize the shoulder, lift the waistline. This is hard on your neck. Look down at the elbow. Hand can be balanced on the mini mats. Inhale, lift with toe point. Flex as you come down. Inhale, lift. Gotta get those bangs out of my eyes. Inhale and exhale. Choosing your core in. Inhale and exhale. So you're lifting the leg up towards the ceiling, but you want to make sure you feel it in the back portion of your buttock, which is your posterior gluteus medius. So if you don't feel it there, as you lift up towards the ceiling, slightly bring the leg back. Yeah. And good. Keep that bottom leg reaching and lift it. And now keep that leg high, reach through that leg in little pulses, back to those micros. Gets weird on your neck, just look down. That's it. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. And then we'll just go ahead and put those knees down. Just go into a little stretch. And we've got to do the other side. So part of me is I turn my back to you, and then we're just going to go ahead. I've got my elbow on the headrest, and I'm holding on to the shoulder rest. I want to make sure that I'm not too close to that edge there. Yep, draw the abdominals in, set the shoulder, and from here, lift and lower. So posterior gluteus medius is right here. If you don't feel it, bring that leg back a little bit. So it's inhale up, exhale down. Inhale and exhale. Lift and keep the bottom leg lifted also. That's it. Toe point on the up. Flex the foot on the down. Up and down. Keep that waistline lifted, stable through the shoulder. Getting isometric work through the underside of our body. Holding this position. Now hold the leg up, little pulses. That's it. Good. Reach long through that leg. We want long leg muscles, so we got to work with that intention of length. Good. Three, two, and one. Very good. Just go ahead and turn and fold down. 
I need to walk my legs back a little bit. I need to just find a little rest. Nice. And then from here, what we're going to do is we'll step off for a brief moment in time, and we're going to uh, get down to just one red spring. So we're going to do a version of chest expansion here. So we're going to carefully come up. We're going to flex our toes. And so we can stretch the plantar fascia here a little bit. So we'll go into the short loops. If this were to feel too heavy, you go long loops. So from here, we're just going to stay and just try to pull back. Yes. So starting to feel that work in a novel position. Yep. And then always moving slow and controlled because we will start to come up. So we don't want to have periods of time where we kind of bend our arms and don't have resistance. So make sure that you're dragging your hands through mud and pausing and returning. So if you're feeling up to it, we're going to go ahead and start to come up and slowly lower. So we're going to come up and slowly lower. So your arm work is almost like the pull for a tightrope artist. So we got to keep that resistance and we come up and down, come up and down, come up. Nice. Now start to forward fold. This is where really going to use your quads. And you're going to try to do tricep extension. Abs are in. Shoulders are down away from your ears. Yeah, maybe lower a little bit more if you want to get more quads. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Get those arms to straight. Feel it, then release it. No tension in your neck and shoulder. Get the work where you need it. Triceps and quads. Two more. Good. And last one. Nice. And then hang those long loops over the post. And let's go ahead and step off. So now we're going to go ahead and turn the mini max and then take all the springs off. And we're going to step into the well. If you didn't have a tall um, reformer like this, you could always do it just on the floor. You just put the mini mats on the floor. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come into an extended position. Yep. And then we're going to exhale. Pull your core in. And inhale, find your open. Exhale, curl. Really squeeze your core. And inhale, find your open. Exhale, yes. And open for stretch. That's your inhale. Exhale, all the air out. Squeeze your core. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Three more. Good. And now two more. Exhale. Squeeze that core. Really engage. Navel to spine. And up. From here, keep holding your head with one arm. Reach the other arm long. Exhale. Turn. Try to touch the outer frame. Exhale. Try to press that same side waistband into the slope. So I'm reaching to the left side of my reformer, pressing my left waistline a little bit more in. Very good. Find your stretch and find your strength. Inhale, open, exhale, squeeze that waistline and open and squeeze. Very good. And let's have two more. Good. And one more. 
nice and switch sides and from here we're going to reach and try to get to the far side and open up exhale really squeeze that waistline so we're shortening between the rib and the hip try as fast as you can to touch Maybe it's your thigh if you can't get all the way to the frame because you do want the same side waistband to be firmly pressed into the mini max and open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Let's have three more. And good. Two more. Very good. Last one. And good. So then I'm going to go ahead and turn. So we're going to do some mermaid here. So we're going to have your leg dangling off. We're going to reach that leg long. Excuse me. Um, so if you need a sticky pad, go ahead and put it underneath that foot. We're going to put your arms out like the scales of justice. Small bend in the elbows. Now try, try to keep the waistlines um, equal as you go towards the mini necks and then come back up. So, just try to keep them equal, lean, and then use the opposite waistline to come back up. Get out of those neck and shoulder muscles, and back up, and lean in, and back up. Very good. Keep the neck and shoulder relaxed. If this feels too hard, you can turn the mini mats in this direction, and you're going to run into the rounded end quicker. See how that would make it easier? So I'm there already. And back. Good. So just keep in mind you can use the mini mats any which way works for your body or your clients. And then let's go ahead and reach. And now capture the arm and pull. So I'm capturing from my underneath arm, grabbing at the lower forearm, and really trying to get a nice side bending stretch. Very, very good. And then I release. So this someone's got hold of my hand and pulling me up. And then try to push your hand into your carriage as you reach up and over, finding a really nice side bending stretch there. All right. We're going to do the other side, so we're going to spin, and around I go. So, leg is straight, scales of justice with soft elbows, and then you reach and try to keep that waistline long. Somebody's got hold of your hand, pulling you back up, but you're doing it with your obliques, and you use the waistline to come back up nice and top. We're staying long through the torso as we tap, and then we come back up. Bend your elbows a little bit more if you feel like you're getting too much into your neck. You could also just put your hands down or have them out in front of you. Yep, really trying to use that waistline and reach and back up and reach and back up. Two more. Reach and back up. One more. Reach and back up. Up and then go over, capture from below, and a good power pull. Beautiful stretch. Release the arm, come up, try to press that arm into the base of your carriage as you reach up and over, like in the top color of the rainbow, reaching for your pot of gold, getting nice length through side body. All right, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please reach out with any questions. The Mini Max is uh, my invention. It's a softer version of an art barrel and so versatile. Thanks so much.